Hi everyone! I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and today I want to take another look at the Wilton Color Mist food coloring sprays. I love these food coloring sprays for applying a really light coverage of dye to yarn and we've used them successfully in many many different dyeing videos. The one thing I have not tried is a metallic color mist spray. This is the Color Mist Spray in Silver, and as you could see on a cupcake, you would get a silver metallic-y sheen. I do not expect to end up with a silver metallic-y yarn, but maybe we will end up with some gray. Let's take a closer look at the ingredients. The food coloring colors are blue number one lake, red number 40 lake, and yellow number six lake. And I've read a couple things, even though I'm still a tiny bit unsure about how they work. But I think in general, they tend to be used as a less soluble form of the dyes. And in some cases actually can prevent break color breaking a little bit more. But what I know is that they, in this case, they will help give this food coloring its silvery metallic sheen. And while I expect some color to remain on the yarn, I, I really don't expect we're going to see silver in the end, but we won't know until we try. So let's go see what can happen. Today we are going to dye 100 grams of Stroll Fingering Weight yarn. This yarn is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. I am currently pre-soaking it in some tap water that includes three tablespoons of white vinegar. And I'm going to let it pre-soak for at least 20 minutes. My goal today is to sort of end up with a semi-solid yarn. I have, um, or at least something pretty subtle. I am going to spray the yarn all over with this silver color mist spray inside this dish basin. And then I will steam the yarn to set the color. But I'm gonna go for not the most, interesting. Whoa, it's like sparkly and shiny. I'm not sure if you guys can really tell. There's not a lot of pigment, there we go, in here. But it is, I mean, right now, unquestionably silver. I am curious if we will end up with something that looks gray in the end. And I'm also curious how much of this we will end up using as we spray paint our yarn. Um, the coverage it seems to be lighter coverage than some of the other colors. But so fun how silver it is. I I'm not sure if you can see the that it's like shimmery metallic or not. Um, so far the coverage is very, very light and bare overall. We'll see, unlike some of the other colors, it doesn't seem to spray as prolonged. There we go. I don't want to use up all of the um, like the alcohol in here before, there we go, before I've used up all the dye. But, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep sort of moving the yarn around and spray painting it, so. <laughs> I'm curious if we'll see color breaking or what. Uh oh. Might be approaching. No, I guess I've got more in here. Oh man, look at my gloves. There, there that's where you can see the shiny. Oh man, both of them. See the the silver. I wonder how much of this will stay, period. Oh man. Uh, yeah, just move it around and then it's a little 
easier when you hold it vertical. So kind of tilting, this sort of helps. But I don't know if you can see that, I mean, for now, it definitely, I mean, it looks like silver spray paint. So if you're doing this on cupcakes or something, yes. I mean, obviously, it's marketed as silver food coloring spray. If you're doing cupcakes, you would get silver. You can hear, we're, we're approaching the end. This, um... So people ask about how long the color mist sprays tend to last and I was able to use one can of black on at least, goodness, I mean not total coverage or anything, but I used it on at least 400 grams, um, two of them half and then one a little, you know, in various, in various amounts. Um, now certainly here I am going for more coverage with just one color. But there we go, we got a little left. Um, I have no idea, and I haven't checked if the product weight of the silver is any different from any of the other colors. Oh, this says it's one and a half ounces, and the other ones are as well. Um, but, I mean, this is a much, it's like metallic y, but it's a much paler color. So, that's probably also why I'm needing to use more because of the, with like the violet and stuff, a little bit went a really long way. I think we're about tapped. Um, there's a lot of silver on my hand, but there's a reasonable amount on the yarn. I have a feeling that whatever this is, I might want to over dye it after the fact. But now I am going to steam this on the stovetop for 20 minutes. I just placed the yarn directly in the steamer basket and I am and you can see it's getting nice and steamy, and I'm going to let this steam for 20 minutes. Two minutes after we put the yarn in the pot, the hue has changed. It's not silver gray anymore. It's like a silver purple now. It's as if the colors are suddenly sort of coming alive or something. I still see a tiny bit of a metallic shimmer, but I'm expecting that to go away. 20 minutes have passed. And our yarn is looking a little purplish. I still see a hint of metallics there, but nothing like what we quite started off with. I, uh, I turned off the heat and I'm gonna just let this all cool off in the pot. So, right now the yarn is shiny. I'm not sure if you can really see right here that it still has a little bit of metallic sparkle. I am not sure, oh dear, what if any of that will remain once we have washed it. I just turn on the yarn and, oh, okay, so do you see, this is sad, do you see the surface of the water? Do you see how it looks like pearlescent? It's because everything that is giving that little bit of metallic shimmer in here, ooh, it looks very marble-like, it's gorgeous, but it's no longer hanging out in the yarn. That gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer is rinsing straight out. It'll take some more time to rinse it out, but it is not gonna stick around. The yarn we're left with 
which actually has a lot more color than the pastel, but it has a lot more color than I gave it credit for. And, oh. I had read that the, the lake, and you can still see there's a lot of it, um, the lake colors aren't soluble, so necessarily, but I was very curious about how all this would go down. But it looks like we're left behind with some purple, which if you consider that the silver is sort of like a gray with some sparkly on it, maybe, then ending up with the purple color, this is sort of similar to what we might see if we had done a tiny bit of black food coloring. So maybe that's why it looks so purple. But anyway, the purple color's in the yarn, but we're still getting this, I mean, maybe there's less, but I'm seeing a lot of this sparkle, sparkle, sparkle left in the water. So I know that I have a fair amount of washing ahead of me. I'm gonna try to get as much of that out as possible. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of the clear dip soap. Uh, which means that it'll probably start to get a little harder for us to see the shimmer on top of the yarn, but maybe the soap will help it bind up. But, I mean, I think we've still got a gorgeous sort of pastel yarn that I'm really, really interested to hold this up next to some bare yarn, because I feel like the whole thing has more color than I expected than what I expected from the beginning. So at one point I thought I definitely wanted to over dye it, but now I'm not so sure. So anyway, I am going to keep washing and rinsing the yarn, and then we will hang it up to dry and share the finished dried yarn with you. Here is the finished dry yarn. The color is a really silvery gray and the overall coverage is very, very light. With some of the other color mist sprays, we were able to get a much deeper color without even approaching using the entire bottle of the spray. I think that most of what is in the silver spray is whatever we saw rinse out that gave it that metallic, almost iridescent sort of quality. Did we end up with a metallic silver yarn? No but we did end up with a really pretty, almost silvery purple, just with no metallics to it. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I know some of you are gonna be disappointed that we couldn't get the metallic silver, but we still got a really pretty color that came through in the end. And so there could be some really fun applications if you find this silver color mist on clearance. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. And if you want to support us in a more personal way, check out the Chemnitz Patreon page. You can see it in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.